Hi peeps. So I wanted to share the two junk journals that will be listed in my shop by the end of the day today. They are, I guess you would say a love theme. I used the um, Prima's Tales of You and Me paper collection. Um, there's some Tsunami Rose papers in here as well. Um, some papers that I got from um, my favorite place, Pixby. Um, and yeah, that's it. So they are very similar, but yet different. So let's get started. Um, I'll start with this one first. This one is actually the first one I made. So this one has a little bit more papers. I wasn't going to make another one, but I have so much paper left. I said I might as well. So this one has a little bit more paper and, um, well, I'll explain when I get there, but let's start with this lovely first. So isn't she lovely? She's so pretty. Um, so I, what did I do? <laughs> I backed the image on some cardstock and inked around the edges. I have some lace here on the spine here. Um, this is what the back looks like. I put the charm in the back and the tie in the back because there's so much going on on the front. I figure let's do something at the back. So the charm says fall in love. Hopefully my camera will focus. And so I tied it with this really soft cottony yarn that I got from Michaels that I absolutely love. I wanted to do something a little bit different than using seam binding all the time. So this is actually a really long piece of lace that I just cut this little piece here to decorate the front. Um, it got some bling going on and some wild orchid crafts flowers. Yes, wild orchid, cla wild orchid crafts flowers. <laughs> Cannot speak. And a little heart bling for her little choker that she has on. And um, yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit more dimensional because it's really what I really love to do. So usually I try to keep the covers flat because I think people might want to put it in their bags. But I want to break out and do some dimensional stuff because this is the stuff that I really, really like. So I'm going to kind of mix and match um, what I do. So there we go. Um, so I put some shimmer. I don't know. Probably can't see it, but there's she's very shimmery um, on the cover here. So really, really cute. I really, really like um, how this came out the covers that is so let's go inside as always it is a file folder um, this one has about 40 pages so 80 front and back um, there is a pocket here um, I have a bunch of Prima um, Tales of You and Me journal cards um, left over so there will be a lot going along with your journal. I have found these um, these Valentine um, little coupons that someone gave me years ago and I never used them because I don't really do Valentine's Day um, but I knew one day I would use them for something and this was the day so I put some crochet lace on this on I was gonna say on the spine <laughs> on the edges of some of the pages here I did some stamping on some of the pages. You know that Tsunami Rose. And some stamping here. Tsunami Rose as well. This is actually from Pixby. It's a really pretty um, background. Um, stamping here. I love how this stencil came out when I coffee dyed it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. So this is a little half page here. Um, at the same, before I made the journals, I was trying to finish up a mini album using this same collection. So um, I had a lot of scraps left over. 
just a little stamp there. This is actually a rub-on. I found some love-themed rub-ons in my stash. I don't know where I got them from, but um, I decided to use those as well. So it says, all things grow better with love. Did I get that on camera? Hopefully. All right. And then I found these really nice um, vintage um, couples. And I printed them out. Hopefully it's okay to use them because I couldn't find the source. And then this is just a card that I had in my stash. So I thought that would be cute to add. You could journal on it. It's a little paper clip that I made. It says, oh my love on it. It's what the back looks like. Hopefully it'll stay together. I, put, I use E6000 so hopefully it will stay put. Another vintage bag here that I put a little lace. This is a, another rub-on, I believe. Yeah, I think that's a rub-on. I use rub-ons and stamps, so sometimes I can't tell which is which. Um, I did some hearts on a string here. This is a little envelope here that I put one of those little dollar um, tree stickers on. And then I put something inside, I think. I put one of those, yeah, I put one of those little Valentine um, coupons in here. So you could journal on that. Sorry if I'm wasting time doing this, but I will forget to put it in there. Okay. And some pages. This is a rub-on as well. This is a, no, the other side of the vintage bag. There's another lovely couple here that I paper clipped. Like a military couple here. And there's a pocket here. And of course the bag is open to put more stuff in there. So And then this is the rub on. Yeah, that's the rub on as well. I printed this from Pixby. Isn't that pretty? Make this one too. And then here, I should have left out. Let me, let me get a card here. So. Because I was doing a mini album, I had this negative space, so I just glued it on some paper. So you can put a picture in here. I left it open. And uh, some little lips up here at the top. Am I in frame? There we go. Uh, there's the other side of that paper. Some more little lace on the spine. And then here's the back pocket with another journal card. And that is it for this lovely lady. So let's go to this lovely lady. Um, I got her from Pixby. And I did something very similar with her as well. I used the same lace for the front and some bling and wild orchid craft flowers. I just brought out that peachy color in this one. And then she has some lace on the spine of hers. Here's the back and her charm it says be mine. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. And I use the same yarn on this one. And I put a flower in her hair. So she had that side profile and there's some stickles here. And yeah, that's it for the cover.
So let's get in the inside. This one seems like it has a lot more. It seems a lot fatter. For some reason, I don't know why. But it, this one has 44 pages. So 88 front and back. So not that many from the other one. But for some reason, this one seems a lot bulkier. So we have the pocket in the front. This um, image, actually, Melly sent me this um, when she sent me that big box of vintage stuff. So these were in, um, so I have no idea where they came from. They came from Melly. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And then I use the same little papers there. This is just a piece of scrap that I had in my stash. A little stamping. I did a little tuck spot on this one. This one has this pretty card here that you can journal on. I thought it looked really nice with that paper. The stamp says romance. Let me turn it around so you can actually see it. So it says romance. This one has the lips as well. This one says love. The other one was supposed to have a doily, but I forgot to put it in there. So this came about because I was doing the mini album and I did not measure. <laughs> so the envelope was too big for the mini album so I stuck it in here and um, I just took some scraps and made photo mats. So you have extra spaces in this one. Maybe that's why this is so bulky because I, ha I have this in here. So yeah, that's how that came about. Have a stamp all you need is love and then this came from Melly too this little couple here kissing by the lake so I don't know where that came from and then this one says hugs and kisses this little stamp here as you can see I added some lace on the spine. It's one of those coupons, the same from the other one. You have some hearts on a string here. And then this um, was from a Prima collection. It says you and me and on the back it says forever. Again, hopefully it's glued good because I did use E6000. So and there's my phone as usual. Okay, this one says, love pure and simple. And this coffee dye page here. And that says, you are in my heart. This little stamp here. And again, a negative from when I was making the mini album. So this is open, so you can slide a picture in there. And this little stamp right here. This one has a tuck spot, and this has a envelope with a little rub on, on it. And I think this one, if I can get it open. Oh, that's the wrong end. This one has, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Oh, isn't that so special? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've had those things for so long. Oh, my goodness. It's hilarious. And I was like, I don't know what to do with these things. I never make Valentine projects or anything, but they worked for this. So I'm glad I kept them. So there is, I did just some little stamps here, 
little stamp at the bottom says soul mates. It's a little envelope part. Heart there, the heart at the top, and, and then we have the pocket on the back, and that is it. So there is my two lovely ladies that will be up in the shop by the end of the day today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I'll be putting out a little bit more little love themes coming soon. All right, you guys? So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Bye.